Hello. For this lecture, we will tackle the generalized correlations for graphing. Uh, still under the volumetric properties of pure fluid. Okay. So the first generalized correlation is the Pitzer correlation for the compressibility factor. So, ito yung compressibility factor natin. And um, express siya in terms of C naught plus omega. Uh, this omega is called the eccentric factor. Eccentric factor. And it's a measure of the non-sphericity of the molecule. Uh, ano rin siya? Uh, Pinormulate din siya ni Pitzer. Okay, ano bang ibig sabihin uh, when we say correlation? Uh, correlation establishes uh, the relationship between two variables, diba? And usually, the correlation is uh, linear. Yeah. And ano naman yung Z0 and Z1? Ano din siya? Uh, type of, para siyang compressibility factor it's a function of the TR and PR and may table tayo um, doon do sa Z0 and Z1 from Pitzer and then of the Pitzer correlations the one developed by Lee Kessler has found the greatest favor and ito yun Lee Kessler generalized correlation can be found in Van Ness if your addition is 7. Ayan, e, ito yung table numbers. Okay. And it's also, itong Lee Kessler correlation more accurate for non-polar or slightly polar gases. May applicable siya doon. Pero, uh, do not use it for polar gases. Appl applicable siya for non-polar and slightly polar gases. And the error is less than 2 to 3%. Pero, pag in-apply mo siya sa polar gases, malaki yung error. This is the table of z naught Yan, yung nasa kaliwa. z one yung or z prime yung nasa right side. Again, it's a function of PR and PR. Uh, these are the different PR or reduced pressure and these are the different reduced temperature. Okay. And sa naman ma makikita yung eccentric factor? Kasama yan, yung eccentric factor sa tables ng critical pressure and critical temperature. Magkakasama sila sa table na yun. And sa naman makikita yun? Meron din kay Perry, meron din kay Vanes. No? Table na yun. Okay? Under the correlation, meron next is the Pitzer correlation for the secondary coefficient. Remember, this is our truncated virial equation with respect to the second virial coefficient. Expressing it, okay, in terms of the critical pressure and temperature, ayan, pinaltan lang yung P ng, uh, kasi diba, ang PR is P over PC, so pinaltan lang yung P ng PR, PR times PC, tapos yung P ng PR times PC, nilagay doon. And then, itong pinagsama lang to, pinangalanan siya na B hat. Let, yan, let B hat be equal to that. So, nagproposal Pitzer and friends or colleagues. Yan, ito na yung bagong correlation. Ano mapapansin nyo? Mm, di ba yung unang Pitzer correlation ay ganito? Parang may same pattern sila. Yun. 
equation ng line, parang gano'n. Ayan. Uh, combining the two equations, yung equation na to, combine mo dito, dito, we will get this one, this equation. Ay, teka lang, may yata. Combining the two equation, ito pala, ito, at saka, ito equation na to, at saka equation na to, ayan, ma, makukuha, yung tatlong equation, pag ginambine mo, hindi lang yung, ano, yung first two. As mentioned, di ba, analogous siya dito, sa equation natin, yung unang pixel correlation. Where, eto z not yan. Pag ginawa nating analogous, eto yung equal to sa, eh, itong buong yan sa z not. Yan, equal yan sa z1. Ngayon, um, ano naman yung equation ng B not at saka B1 dun sa, kasi paano natin siya makukuha? ba? Diba? Ito yung equation natin, pero ito madali lang kasi reduce pressure at temperature meron sa property tables. Ito meron sa property tables. So, paano naman yung B not and B1? Paano siya makukuha? Ito, si Abbott. 1975. Buti na lang, nakagawa siya ng equation. Oops. Nakagawa siya ng equation. Yan. So, useful yung generalized variable coefficient correlation if Z0 and Z1 are at least approximately linear function. Yan, dapat approximately linear functions of reduced pressure. Yeah. And like the parent correlation, ano lang, accurate siya for non-polar and hindi siya accurate for highly polar molecules. This is a, a, a diagram okay, for Z not sa y-axis and reduced pressure sa x-axis. And itong mga lines ay uh, reduce temperature. Isothermal, pero reduce temperature na siya. Yan. Anong masasabi dito? Uh, if your reduced temperature is 1.8 and above less than 2% yung difference percent error or difference mo <coughs> yan correlations for third period coefficient um like uh, mentioned in the previous lecture Yung third virial coefficient, less common yung data natin doon. Ito, less common. Ito, more common. Okay? Uh, pero, ayan, generalized correlation for third virial then do appear in literature. So, ginagamit pa rin, meron pa rin sa literature. In terms of density, yung recip kasi reciprocal, ba diba? Kung, alimbawa, yan ay, ano, uh, kilogram per meter cube kasi nga uh, nasa baba yung V. So, density yan, di ba? Yan. Na-replace lang yung V ng ng 1 over density. Yan. Yung third virial coefficient can also be expressed in the reduced pressure and temperature. Reduced temperature. Katulad nung unang correlation yan sa second period or coefficient. Okay, so in-express lang in reduce temperature and pressure. And then, um, 
pero ang itsura niya hindi pa pitcher type eh kasi uh, hindi di ba ang pitcher ganito si Matt Clark Diwan. So, hindi pa siya ganun. Pero, it can be written in a pitcher type correlation. Uh, for, yung sa, ano, for C, for the third burial coefficient, it can be written in a pitcher type correlation. Yan. And then, uh, si Orbe and Vera, meron siyang equation nung C naught at saka C1 in terms of the reduced temperature. Okay. Para mas lalo nating maintindihan <laughs> itong mga equations na to, may example, pero sa next video na to, itong example.